Hi, I'm Stephanie and I'm going to teach you how to solve pan balance problems. Here are a few things I think you should remember. First, always remember to do the same to both sides of the balance. By doing this, you'll be able to keep them balanced and equal. Second, always remember to clearly understand the problem before solving it. So here's our problem. Six circles and six squares is equal to three circles and three triangles. The second clue is telling us that three circles is equal to one triangle. What we are trying to find out is how many squares equals one triangle. So we should first find out what we can cross out. As we can see in pen A, there are enough circles to be crossed off in both sides. Three off each. Now we are left with six squares, three circles, and three triangles. As you can see, there's nothing else we can cross off now, so we can move to the bottom. The second clue is telling us that one triangle is equal to three circles. We, can, we have three circles here in plan, pan A, so we can replace them with a triangle. Once we, after we replaced it, now we still have things to cross off. A triangle from both sides. Now we are left with two triangles and six squares. Since there's nothing else we can cross off now, we can start analyzing the, the answer. We are trying to find out how many squares is equal to one triangle. If we're finding out one triangle and we have two triangles, we just divide them in half, and we move it down here. Since we divided it in half, we have to do the same with the squares. 6 squares divided by 2 equals 3. Well, that's our answer. Now we just have to fill it in. 3. So our solution to the problem is that 3 squares is equal to 1 triangle. Solving pan balance problems aren't hard. You just need to remember to follow the rules. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video.